I'm photographer David Bergman and this is Two Minute Tips for Adorama TV. Today I'm going to show you how I manage my images after a shoot so that I can find them in the future. Like everything on the computer, there are a lot of different ways to do this and I'm not saying this is the only way or even the best way, but it's worked for me for many years. On any particular assignment, I might shoot thousands of photos. Before I copy all of those images into my computer, I'm going to create a single master folder and name it with an eight digit number that represents the date of the shoot, the year, the month, and the day, and then something descriptive about the assignment. I do it that way so when I have a long list of folders on my hard drive, they'll all sort automatically in chronological order. Inside that master folder, I create all the subfolders I'm going to need. There's a raw folder and a selects folder. Inside selects, I create two subfolders, raw first edit and raw final. I might have more folders in there depending on the assignment, but we'll start with that for now. Now I can copy all of my images into that raw folder and I use Photo Mechanic to cull through them very quickly. I'm going to do multiple passes here so I don't spend a lot of time comparing one frame to the next. I'm just looking for anything decent and if I can get it down to two or three hundred images, I'll copy those into the raw first edit folder I created earlier. I then repeat that process with those images, and this is where I'm going to make my critical final selections, hopefully getting it down to 30 or 40 frames. I copy those into my raw finals folder, and those are the only images I'm going to bring into my raw processing folder to work on for final publication. At the end of this process, I have a single tidy folder with all of my images from the shoot. If I need to find something in the future, I can search for it by date or assignment, and then go into the raw finals folder to find my best images. If I need to find something else, I can always go into that raw first edit and look for more images from the shoot. By taking the time to do the work up front, I hopefully won't ever have to go back through those thousands of images that I shot on the assignment. Thanks for joining me today on Adorama TV. Don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos, follow me on social media at David Bergman, and go to the Adorama Learning Center for lots of other great tips and tricks.